So let me tell you about the time that a guy left me in the hood in A school. So as I, you know, explained in the previous video, you know, when you're in A school, you really can't go out in town and do what you want to, but they uh, slowly but surely, you know, give you back your freedom in small increments. So after being in A school, maybe like a month or so, they finally was like, hey, you know, you can put on civilian clothes and you can go out in town and party. So, you know, I had never been out in town in Wichita Falls, Texas, and I wasn't familiar with the area like that. Um, neither did I had no car or able to get around, so I was just, you know, um, you know, open and ready to get out with whoever. So this guy at the time um, named All Good, you know, hey, All Good, if you out there, hey, buddy, I still forget <laughs> and remember uh, how you tried me. So, so back to the story. So all good, you know, he come by the room like, hey boy, hey bro, I know you just, you know, got your phase, you know, you want to go out in town. So I'm like, yeah, come on. So he was like, come on, man, you know, uh, he was older too. Um, you know, he probably was like 21 or so at the time, you know, we was fresh in the military. So I probably was like 18 or so. And he was from like a uh, up north, somewhere in the Northeast area. So he was like, hey man, come on, you know, we can go rent a car and, you know, we'll ride around town and we'll hit the club tonight and go to the mall and so forth. So I'm like, cool, let's do it. So we go to the, uh, to the rental car place and we rent the car and, um, you know, we get the insurance and we pay for the gas. So me, I don't like to owe nobody money. So I just gave him all my half and my portion of the money up front. I was like, hey man, you know, here, here's X amount of dollars for the gas. Here's X amount of dollars for the insurance. And here come my portion. And, and even a little uh, more, you know, for you being the driver, you know, for the rental car. So cool. So we, we're driving around that day. You know, he's showing me around Wichita Falls, Texas. And um, we went to the mall and, you know, I got an outfit to go out. So, you know, we just so happened to be running into a couple of people from the base. And uh, each time we were asking them like, hey, man, you know, where's the part at tonight? You know, where is that? You know, um, some people was like, hey, Graham Central Station, Graham Central Station. You know, then we're running to others and, you know, they was like, you know, go to Tommy's, go to Tommy's. So, you know, I don't know Graham Central Station from Tommy's, you know. So then I wound up running into a guy, you know, another guy who I know. And I was like, hey, man, you know, what's what's the difference of the club? He was like, hey, Graham's, you know, it's cool, but it's more of a mixed crowd, you know, a base crowd. But Tommy's, you know, it's, a more, it's more of a turn up, you know, hood type environment, you know, but either way, you'll have a good time. So I'm like, cool, man, you know, hey, I can go to either one. So, you know, mind you, again, it's my first time being out in town in like three, four months, first time being in civilian clothes. So, you know, I'm just ready to turn up. So fast forward to that night, you know, he was like, hey, man, where do you want to go? I'm like, hey, man, I'm, I'm open to either one. But, you know, Tommy seemed like it may be more our crowd. So, you know, let's check that out. So I noticed at the time he was a little apprehensive, but he was like, OK, cool, let's go. So, bam, we get to the uh, club. So soon as I touched down, man, it, it was my type of atmosphere. You know, we we're in the South, you know, we're in Texas, so they're playing the type of music I'm listening to. I'm used to the type of crowd that I'm used to. You know, I'm, 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 I'm like, who let the dogs out? So soon as the first song hit, you know, I'm dancing, I'm partying, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. So, you know, the whole time I'm looking back at all, all good, and I seen he's not really having a good time. He's just standing up on the wall like you don't want to be there. But cool, I don't care. I'm doing my thing. So, you know, there's one girl she just chose from the beginning. You know, she just came up to me and she was just feeling my swag and she was just dancing on me the whole night and was keeping me near. So I'm talking to her. So I noticed I looked back uh, to where All Good was standing and he was gone. So I was like, okay, that, that's kind of weird. Maybe he went to the bathroom. So I uh, I went and seen uh, one of these other guys that I knew from the base. And I was like, hey, man, did you see All Good? And they was like, oh, yeah, man. He said that he he's running back to the base to pick up uh, Zatrine. So I'm like, what? Went back to the base to pick somebody up? Okay, that's odd. But, you know, I ain't tripping. Forget it. You know, I'm going to have a good time. So, you know, I'm still partying, you know, having a good time, you know, doing my thing. So the girl that I met, she was like, hey, hey, you know, let's go. Let's get out of here, you know. I, I want to ride and leave with you tonight. So I'm like, yeah, buddy, let's, let's go. I got, I got, I got a fish in the boat. Let's go. So, you know, and she was telling me and she was like, Hey, you know, I don't want too many people in my business, you know, so let's just slide out of here. So I'm like, cool. So I go outside to where we park the car. The car is gone, you know, no all good. So I'm like, I'm like, hold on. I, I know this dude ain't left, left me. So I walk around the club. 
Now, mind you, I didn't know at the time, but we in the hood, hood. We, I'm somewhere that I'm not really even supposed to be. But again, I don't know this at the time. So, you know, I'm, I'm walking around. I'm looking for the car. I'm like, I know this dude ain't left me, man. So the girl, she constantly like, hey, you know, what's up? Like, are we leaving or not? So I'm like, yeah, chill out, baby. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my car. I'm looking for my friend. So by this time, the club's starting to let out. Everybody's coming out, going, going, going. Now, mind you, I don't even know where I'm at. I, I couldn't even get back to the base, even if I had a car, if I wanted to, you know, rely on because I rode with him. So, you know, cars leaving, the, the club starting to empty out. So now I'm just standing here looking, looking crazy. So I'm telling the girl, like, damn, baby, you know, I'm sorry, you know, just give me your number, you know, maybe we'll catch up some other time. So she was like, are you sure? So I'm like, yeah, baby, you know, I got to. I got to figure it out and make it happen. So at the last minute, I just so happened to see that this guy that I know from the base, and he was already in like a little small two door car, and they was already you know four or five deep. So I stopped him. I was like, "Hey man, you know, um, is y'all going back to the base?" So he was like, "Yeah, man, you know, we packed, but hey, bro, you you free to lap up if you want to, bro. I don't think all good coming back." So I'm just like, "Bro, like I just can't believe this dude just left me out here, man." So I'm 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 38 hot. I'm talking about 400 degrees, fish grease hot. Like I'm on go as soon as I see this dude. So we pull back up to the base. Just so happened I see Zatrine, you know, another good friend of mine. He's standing in the parking lot. He funky fresh. So I'm like, Z, uh, where you going, bro? He was like, Hey man, all good. Say he got these girls and he coming to pick me up. So I'm like, hold on. One, this dude done left me. Two, he coming to pick up somebody else with some girls. If you got some girls and coming to get somebody, bro, it's supposed to be me. So now this just done through fuel on the fire. I'm like, man, when I see this dude, bro, ain't no talking. It, it's straight. I'm on go. So my roommate at the time, you know, which was Callie, and he was a turned up dude. He like, hey, man, what's going on? So I give him the backstory. So, man, he just went off like, are you kidding me? Like, I can't believe this dude left you. I don't like this dude anyway. Man, we go stomp this dude out when I see him. So, he putting that battery in my back. I'm charged up. I'm going to go. So, the guy that just so happened to be the student leader, you know, he was like, hey, man, boy, man, calm down, bro. You know, you're a good dude, man. You just got here. You know, you got a great future, man. I don't want you to get in trouble. So, everything he telling me, you know, I got the devil and angel man on my shoulder, man. It's just going through one out of the other. So as he talking, just so happened, here come all good, come riding up in the car. And he got two girls in the car with him. So before he can stop the car good, I done bum rushed the car. I'm grabbing the door handle. I'm pulling on the door, trying to get it open. You know, he got the door locked. You know, he just got this shook, shook, you know, dick look on his face. <laughs> so I go around to the passenger side. So the girls, they in the car looking like, oh my God, what's going on? So I snatch the door open. So I'm snapping like, man, get out of the car, da, da, da. So he like, man, man, my bad, bro. Like, you know, uh, such and such said they was going to give you a ride. Such and such said they was going to give me a ride. So in my, in my soldier boy face, I'm like, go give me a ride, bro. Like, I didn't come to the club with such and such. I came to the club with you. What do you mean? So he started trying to explain, bro. I'm like, man, bro, get out this car. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. The only thing saved him was them two females. And they were so shook, you know what I'm saying? So I, I didn't want to be jumping over them trying to get to him. So I just like, man, you know what's to do my passion. So by this time, you know, people run out there. They pulling me back. So I was like, bro, look here, man. I say, dog, don't you ever say shit else to me in life, bro. You just left me out in town in a car that I helped you pay for in my gas money. You came to pick up two girls. I mean, you went and picked up two girls and brought them for another dude and then he have the audacity to bring one for me. Who does that? So, yeah, man, that was, that was one of the craziest stories and experience that, that I went through, man. And then, you know, you know, a couple of days later when I told the people that was familiar with the area what happened and where I was at, they were just like, bro, like, are you kidding me? Like, dog, anything could have happened to you. But, you know, Good thing, you know, my survival skills kicked in, and I'm I'm glad I subdued my passions. But, but to this day, man, I feel a 